In only week four of the 2019 season, the Panthers have already experienced the highs and lows that the NFL can provide. Starting the campaign with two straight losses at home and having Cam Newton go down was a gut check for both the squad and Carolina faithful. However, the team's resilience would prove true in the desert with a new leader at the helm. But that doesn't stop the questions about QB1 returning. Let's get to Charlotte now. Our Tiffany Blackman is there. A lot of people paying attention to the quarterback situation, paying attention still to Cam Newton's foot. Uh, Cam Newton, uh, according to multiple sources, uh, is dealing with a Liz Frank injury, and it is a four to eight week timetable. Now you know going into the week that you know, you're going to be the star. How, how does it change things mentally for you? I don't think it changes anything mentally, honestly. I think, I know you guys don't want this answer, but I, I prepare like I'm going to start every week. So, same preparation, same process, and hopefully same result on Sunday. This kid does did just what he was asked to do, and look at his statistics. Off the chain, man. Uh, how about Texans, Panthers, and what you see here? My sneaky good game of the week. I like the Texans to win a close game. Now, you want to talk about defenses and that all they do is rush the passer? When you see the Texans play, they're getting after the quarterback. So like I said, we'll have this conversation about Kyle Allen on Tuesday. Not this Tuesday, because Arizona is trash. We'll talk about them next Tuesday after they play somebody like J.J. Watt and the likes of Merc uh, what's his name, Merciless? Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. No, I those, guys, I those guys know how to rush the pass. Last week at Arizona, the Carolina Panthers could easily have had nervous stomachs. But Carolina recovered to play a point unified keep hope alive win Every now and then I smell trouble coming creeping up around the bend hey. it's high noon I hear two shots gunning from a stranger claiming he's a friend Kyle Allen getting set to make his second straight start for the injured Cam Newton coming off a four touchdown game against Arizona well his confidence and poise I think really impressed everybody bring it in tight bring it in tight bring it in tight Hey, say this last week, right? Do your job. Do your job. Don't do too much. Do your job. And bring the f***ing energy again, man. Play with passion. We're in their house. We're away. Let's go take the from them, all right? Let's go. Hey, I want y'all to think about something. Think about this. The truest measure of a man's mental toughness is consistency. The truest measure of a man's mental toughness is consistency. Let's go out there and be consistent. We did it once. Let's keep it going. Let's go do it again. Yeah. Win on three, one, two, three. Man. Every now and then I smell trouble coming, creeping up around the bend. Hey. It's high noon, I hear two shots gunning from a stranger claiming he's a friend. My, my, what's that sound? It's just me riding out of this town. Time to kick up these dusty boots, gonna two-step. The first three games have all started eerily similar to one another. A sustained drive into opposing territory and ending with a turnover. In game four, it would be more of the same. Allen, Allen looks at him quickly, not going to run up the middle, and he fumbled. Fumbled the ball as he went to the ground, picked up McKinney, who's tackled at the 18-yard line by Samuel. Shades of last week at Arizona, promising opening drive ends in a fumble by Kyle Allen. For as good as Kyle Allen has been this year, there has been one thorn in his side, fumbles. And if you show weakness to a veteran D-line, they will remember and take advantage. Scarlett and McCaffrey, former teammates at Stanford. And now Allen is hit, loses the football. It's still loose. And it's recovered by the Texans. Carlos Watkins jumps on it. Second Carolina turnover on a sack fumble. The fumble gave the ball back to Houston at midfield. They would waste no time in taking advantage of the mistake, driving deep into Panthers territory. 30, cuts to the right, 25, slides down to the 24-yard line, a gain of 10. Swings it out. And now Hopkins throws. It's picked off. Rolf. Intercepted by Ross Cockrell. Houston thought of linebacker would be covering the running back there and he would have free access but Ross Cockrell sitting there just waiting for that easy interception 
takeaway for Carolina. My receiver didn't do what he normally does on screen, which is block. He ran a route. Um, so I kind of just hung back, and then I thought about the Saquon play from last year. Let's go! Hey, my boy, I got some yak. My Big boy, I got yak. some yak out here, Big man. yak! Let's go, man! Big yak! In the first two quarters, the Panthers had avoided the repercussions of turning the ball over and would take a lead into half. But mistakes have a way of catching up to a team. And when they do, the expense is great. Samuel wide to the near side, Joseph marking him. Kyle Allen in the shotgun, has the snap. Backs up, and the ball hit, loose again. Uh, yeah. Loose on the field, recovered by the Texans at the 17. J.J. Watt with the sack, the strip, the fumble, and the recovery. Three times they got to Kyle Allen for a sack and a strip fumble today. Watson again IDs the mic, linebacker with motion. The option to the left. Watson's going to keep it. Left pylon, he scores. It's 10 to 9. That's what good teams do, Kenny. Complimentary football, you hear it all the time. Takeaway has got to end in a score. That's exactly what they did there. Momentum is a funny thing and extremely powerful. With the touchdown, the Texans had taken firm control of it, starting to roll and driving. But this time, it would be the Panthers that would show off their pass rush. Pressure coming off the edge, Reed. And it's balls out, ball is loose. Panthers recover at the 33. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Bravo. What a huge play in this game. Reed came off the edge, unblocked. Turn up, then. Turn up, then, Vern. Turn up, then, Vern. Stop playing with that man, bro. The fumble would put the Panthers in the driver's seat. But with 4.05 remaining in the game and only a three point lead, it was imperative that the offense kill clock and score. It would appear as though the drive would stall until Kyle Allen did a disappearing act of his own. Well, play the game for Houston. They need to stop. And if Carolina converts here, I think this game, Kenny, is going to be out of reach with no timeouts. Cool, Kyle. Cool, Kyle. On third down and six, Allen retreats. Oh. Allen is almost sacked, but he keeps his balance. Now he throws to the right, <laughs> and it is caught at the 12-yard line. First down, Panthers. Incredible. Jarius right from Kyle Allen who went off script and played it just right. And J.J. Watt well, cannot believe that Kyle Allen stayed up here. That was a Houdini move to get out of the grasp of Watt on that one. Got, got, I got Houdini right now. I, mean, I thought it was one of those, like, kind of getting pushed by, step up, grabbed his shoulder pad, but, I mean, J.J. really had him square up the middle. They drop eight, they drop the ends, and they reroute everybody. J.J. Watt kind of, he runs a stunt and gets inside and uh, splits the gap, and I just see him come through as I'm trying to get the ball away, and I just kind of instinctively grasp and spin away. Thank God he didn't get me. And then I start going like this. I'm like, I'm open, I'm open. Uh, but he, you know, he knew where I was and got the ball out there. So it was just up to me to make the catch. That was that was huge because it allowed us to run off a lot of time instead of giving them the ball after a longer field goal just under the two minute. I think it would have been around just under the two minute. Instead, you know, they had 30 seconds or whatever. So it's a big difference in this league. Russ, everything you got right now. You're we got to go. Hey, right now. Let's go. Let's go. So it comes down to this. 16-10 Panthers, four ticks of the clock. Watson backs up. Watson drifts to the right. Still drifting. Still drifting. Sets his body. Hit as he throws. Uncorks it into the end zone. Batted down. Yes! Great play made by Eric Reed to put the exclamation point on the Carolina Panthers victory. Carolina goes on the road, gets a big win. Two wins in a row for Carolina. Digging themselves out of the hole they started early in the season with. And there you go. You guys had each other's backs. We didn't do things right all the time, and somebody stepped up and made a play. Both sides of the ball and in special things. Yes, things sir. happened that were really positive, and that's the best part, guys. You did a lot of good things. You did a lot of good things. It's a hell of a team victory. Now let's go. Hell with joy. Yeah! I'm thinking about how we played team ball, how these guys ball for each other, like we was each other's mother's brothers. What? What that mean? <laughs>
Hey, hey, like we each other's mother's brothers. Hey, we uncles, cuz. We like a family of uncles. <laughs> Last week, we talked about it. Plain rides gonna feel good. This week, we came out here ball. Keep saying we underdogs. We love it. We're gonna come out there and play. We're gonna come out there and play. Oh, I'm feeling great, bro. Got a big win. Now we gotta get another one. Move on to the next game. The Jacksonville Jaguars, they're going on the road to take on the Carolina Panthers. And, Buck, I don't know this is the uh, quarterback matchup we anticipated before the season started, but so far so good for the young signal callers for these two teams. Yeah, Garner Minshew, Kyle Allen having a chance to square off, but really this comes down to a matchup that is far be beneath the quarterbacks. And I'm going to say it is about Christian McCaffrey being able to go against a tough Jaguars defense. Christian McCaffrey is making a case to be the best running back in the league. A solid running game is a young quarterback's best friend. And thus far this season, Christian McCaffrey's numbers have jumped off the stat sheet. And against the Jaguars, he would elevate his game to a whole new level. Allen in the shotgun, first and goal from the five, no score. Trying to get around the right side, he does. McCaffrey leaps, and zone, oh, touchdown! And you want to talk about get a crowd into the football game. Everybody's on their feet in Panther Stadium right now. McCaffrey went airborne and almost landed on his feet with a complete forward somersault. Hey, that's the first of a whole lot of them. Let's go. And he finds McCaffrey at the 10. McCaffrey takes it in. Oh! Second score of the day for Christian McCaffrey. That is what you call a jerk route. He's going to go and turn and look at the quarterback, and he's going to jerk one way or the other, and it was wide open. Not wanting to be left out of the fun, youngster Brian Burns would invite himself to the party. Minshew loses the football, scooped up by Burns. Brian Burns to the house. Mario Addison just drove Andrew Norwell Straight back into Gardner Minshew. I mean, Mario made the sack and it bounced right to him. So, um, you know, he caught it. He ran fast. So that was that was a good thing. I couldn't it. believe it until I got to the sideline and watched the replay. Honestly, <laughs> I thought they was gonna call it an incomplete pass or something. But I, actually, I took off because I thought somebody was behind me. But it was Bruce. But uh, after I looked back, I was I was good. We touched that ball, man. He ran like it was a stuffed turkey. I just started celebrating with the people who was closest to me. Slap the hands! <laughs> Burns' return was impressive, but the day McCaffrey was having could not be topped. It wouldn't slow down at half. On the contrary, it would take a single snap for him to add to his total. Hands it off to McCaffrey. There he goes! It's a C-Mac attack! McCaffrey, one man to beat! So happy I'm playing with him and not against him. He is something we have never seen before. It is um, it is something truly special. That's an 84-yard run, and that is now the longest run in Carolina Panthers franchise history. That's a hell of a way to start the half, huh? How far was that run? 84. That's the longest run in franchise history. We said it two weeks ago with the 76 yarder. This guy's breaking his own record. Look at him run, man. He's the best back in the league, in my opinion. Just seeing him from on the field, in practice, just the way he carry yourself, he's the best, best back, best pro, in my opinion. I don't know where that dude's from, but hey, if the season ended right now, he's an MVP. Two teams that entered the NFL in the same year, 25 years ago, and they put on a show today. And in the end, the Panthers win their third straight First home win in, in almost a year. I mean, what did it feel like to, to go out in front of this home crowd? And, we and definitely win? need, you know, we definitely need a win at home. You know, we want to win anyway, but you know, we got to um, take care of home first. Um, you know, wins are hard to do in this league. We've now won three in a row. Got kind of a different, different week ahead of us this week going to London. Get up, game on. This dude's a beast. It's your NFL wake-up call from London. 
It all starts with an NFC South rivalry. He did not get it. Panthers Bucks. Sunday at 9.30 a.m. Eastern, only on NFL Network. <laughs> Tiffany, I'm also an F.A. Obata fan. <laughs> Tell us why the Panthers defensive star, really this is a special moment for him and for the city to see him back in London. It really is. This is a homecoming for him. You know, he's a defensive end who contributes a lot on special teams, but he's got such a great backstory. If you get some time to read up on it. How does it feel? How's the flight? How are you doing with all this? Flight, was, this? flight was good. Uh, shorter than I uh, expected, I guess. Uh, you can cut some hours down when you uh, fly private, I guess. So, <laughs> but um, uh, my flight was good, a bit tired, trying to stay awake so the jet lag doesn't hit me. And then um, just trying to be in the moment, enjoy this, and you know, just trying to enjoy the life for it. Gray City, stubbornly implanted, taken so for granted, for a thousand years, stay, city. Smokily enchanted, cradle of our memories and hopes and fears. Every blitz, your resistance, toughening from the Ritz to the anchor and crown. Nothing ever could override the pride of London town. All right, listen, everybody knows what this day means to me. Forget all that, all right? Because we've been working hard. And our vision, what we were trying to get to, is bigger than this moment. It's bigger than what I want. All right, I need everyone for this. Family on three, all right? One, two, three. Although F.A. Obata has received the majority of the media coverage in the weeks leading up to the game, it would be the defensive backs that would steal the spotlight early in the match. Peyton Barber is the single back. Behind him, first snap of the day here from Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. It's a throw. Winston throws, and it's picked off. The first pass of the game is intercepted by James Bradbury. And he is down there, one pass and one pick for Thieves Avenue. Hey, hey, that thievery travel. That's that thievery travel. That thievery travel. That thievery travel. Let's go. We talked about bringing energy. Uh, first play of the game, we get a pick. Uh, I mean, that's setting the tone. I mean, how, how much better do you want to set the tone with a touchdown, obviously, but uh, for James to do that first play, um, it kind of set the tone of how we're going to play defense for the rest of the day. <laughs> Taken down by Gerald McCoy, former Buck Bag and his former teammate. What y'all talking about? I told you we was getting on the board. I told you we was getting on the board. Bro, we almost got all our goals in the two series. Scoring position, uh, takeaway, take two, three and out. We about to get something going on offense line. First down Carolina. This drive started inside the one. Allen from a clean pocket. Allen goes fastball, and it is caught. The Buck 38-yard line by Samuel. First down Carolina, and the drive continues. But I asked him. When you go for it in fourth down of this game, am I mandated to call you Riverboat Ron? <laughs> he said, call me Analytics Ron. Yeah. Fourth and inches. It's McCaffrey. And he Stop. is stopped. Except what? it's now called a touchdown by the judge that's at the bottom. Touchdown! Touchdown! Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Touchdown! Yeah, boy! <laughs> and runs out of time. It's Gerald McCoy with his second sack of the day. And that Panthers defensive line is closing that pocket fast. Hey, I ran that guard all the way back. He was like, oh, shoot. Poe was there like, no. We have to step up. He can't step up, bro. We right there. Now, hey, now everybody eat. Get money, get money, get money. Let's get money. You feel me? You feel me? With the DBs thieving and the D-line mashing, the Panthers' defense was off to an aggressive and flashy start. But when it came to their reserved leader, it took some convincing to join in. As Jameis Winston needs to get some points here, and he throws a run to Luke Keekley. He's still on his feet. with a monster interception. Luke is very humble. Luke is a guy who makes a play, get to the sideline. 
I had to literally drag Luke. Like, well, we had a whole conversation. Like, come on, Luke. Like, Luke, come on. He's like, no, Trey, come on, let's go, let's go. Like, no, take the pick. Um, so I dragged him to the sideline a little bit. It's not the end zone, but I wanted to get him in the picture, man. It just means a lot, man. He's something. In I mean, he's the, the rock to our defense, you know. Um, I want to get him having more fun. I want to get, I want to see, I want to let the people see him have more fun. Um, he's always so serious. Uh, we love him. And here is Kyle Allen up 20 to 7, taking the first and goal snap after the fourth. Jameis giveaway from the seven. And this one is handed off to Curtis Samuel. Walks it in. Touchdown. That's what you want to do as an offense. You get a turnover, it gives you the ball in the red zone, score right away, and it just knocks the wind out of the, the opposition. Right now you can see the Bucks defense, head, their heads are hung low. And so went the day. A defensive turnover awarded with an offensive score. And how fitting that the thief that started the party finished it. Oh gosh, it's one last interception. It is the seventh turnover of the game. And fifth interception for Jameis Winston. The Carolina Panthers come to London, England, get revenge on Tampa Bay. Thieves Avenue comes roaring back to life, and the Carolina Panthers will be 4-2 and two at the bye week after this 11-point victory. Incredible. The defense came and showed out, boy. Y'all played off each other. Did our thing, kept balling. Overlocked each other. We hard tricked off a couple sacks. It's all good, my dog team me up, man. Hey, that's how you come here and win a football game, guys. Hey, 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 hey. A lot of fun, a lot of fun. It really worked. Guys set the tone and tempo from the beginning, okay? You guys handled yourselves very, very well. You did the things you're supposed to, and you stayed focused on what the task at hand was. When you get distracted, you focus on about winning, okay? Right. He, set, he set the tone and tempo for us today, okay? He did some great things. All right, James Bradbury. Yeah. Hey. One last one again. We couldn't come all the way to freaking England and not give one to the FA. Hey. Hey, 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 y'all get victory Monday, okay? Yeah. Hey, family on three, family on three. One, two, three. Family! I'm feeling great, you know, uh, to travel all the way to London and being able to come out with this victory is amazing. Uh, it feels good, man, going to this bye week, four and two. Uh, defense play lights out, offense play lights out, special teams play lights out. We need to go home with a dub. Y'all know how we do. Second window, Porter. Going to back to America with the crew. With a big dog, show us big love. When we get across the pond, I'm gonna be by. It's right! It's right! It's right! At the end of the game, we saw you waving at the fans here at Tottenham. Walk us through that moment for you being able to be here as the Carolina. <sighs> that, that one was, that one's gonna stay with me for the rest of my life. And um, like who, who would have fought, you know? Like, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.